Welcome to my lair. Anyway, so as you can as you can probably see, I'm not in the dark crypt that I call my lair, aka my room, for once in my life because it's spring and it's finally freaking decent weather and it makes me so happy. Anyhow, I was not planning on making a video today because honestly, I am so, so busy. It's the end of junior year and they pile it on. But you know, and lately I've been not doing so well and because I've just been so busy and tired and busy to make any videos, but that, you know what, today, I'm not gonna let that stop me. You know what, I'm going to go out and be a productive member of society. Yeah. And by that I mean, go out to Casey's, buy a couple candy bars, and do a video about it. Totally got my life together, right? Right. Is this even, I'm, I'm, I got a new stand here, and we're, uh, well, we're just gonna see how this goes. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Let's hope that's in focus. Also, welcome to my luxurious, ever so carelessly uh, hanging uh, chair on the beams in this uh, porch screen thingy. And so that's cool. Anywho, onto the candy. Right up. So. I got three different candies here. Okay, okay, one of the... So today on my ever so awesome trip, ever so arduous and fantastical trip to uh, Casey's, I got three candy bars and I will admit two of them I've tried, okay. One of them I've tried before and it's new and I like it. The second one is like, okay, so. And then the third, the second one I've had, but in a different form. And then the third one I've never tried before. So I was like going down the candy aisle and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try something new today. Because you'll probably see me a lot of trying things for the first time videos if I ever get around to making them. But I, as a child, was a picky as heck eater. So a lot of just normal ass things that, uh, just a lot of normal things foods, whatever, especially vegetables. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I have never tried before, so at least now that's a lot of fodder for videos. Let's monetize those new experiences. Anyway, the first one I got here is, okay, I have to admit I have tried this one before, but uh, I ended up liking it. It's the new um, Hershey's Cookie Crunch thing. Co Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch, right? So it's got caramel and these crunchy things that I think is supposed to be cookie and it's all in chocolate and it's good. Like my mom, I had my mom and my sister try it and they're like, it's, it's very rich. But I'm like, you know what, I like it because, you know, in the candy industry, like, we're getting to a time where, okay, it's all the same exact candies every single time. So I've been slowly but surely noting that they're kind of trying to expand on the, on the candy selection ever so slightly, you know, experiment with some toffee and new kinds of ideas and recipes. So I suppose um, this cookie layer crunch thing is kind of an attempt at that by the Kershey's company. Hershey, Hershey's company and you know what good for you like I've been wanting to see some new kinds of candy like I know there's going to be a lot of swings and misses but you know what I appreciate the task and that's why I got it and I tried it and I'm like okay maybe I might need uh, just them um, one more and so um that's why king size so anyway let's try I'm not sure why it comes in these little segments, but I know it works. They're just kind of hard to break because, like, even the, it's so thick that the divots kind of only work, like, a half or maybe a third of the time. It's very good.
good though like I'm not sure how my camera focus works quite yet but like you can see that caramel and it looks a lot like it does in the picture so shut up and eat it right sounds good to me oh my god So good. Okay, so I know it advertises it as milk chocolate, but like you can kind of get a hint of a kind of a dark chocolate taste, but it doesn't taste like dark chocolate, if that makes any sense. Like, like I uh, said before, it, I think it's just kind of that richness, you know, because there's a lot of going on with the. Uh, all that chocolate like I don't think they modified the chocolate recipe from the normal batch to they just added caramel and cookie and so I think that just kind of hits you a little bit hard and I think that's where you're getting that uh, rich flavor come uh, from and that's what they do from or, what do I keep saying from I have a little bit of repeating myself problem but meh. I don't care much as you can see like today I got up and I'm just that woke up a fabulous disaster like I do and I'm just like looks in the mirror we're putting on a hat today and I want to be bougie so I put lipstick on and nothing else ah, my life anyway on with the next bar Okay, so the whole reason I went to uh, Casey's in the first place was because um, <laughs> I was hungry and Kirby was going out anyway, and I'm like, Ugh, looks around the absolute disaster zone that is my room. I think it would be healthy to get out for a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just like, you know what? I'm stepping up from Hershey's for a second. We're going with the Dove Bar. We're going with the Dove Bar. Do, 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 Okay, I have, I've had, had a Dove chocolate before, but it's usually when my sister buys it in the bags, and then just like, oh, here, the, what we do, we have a system here in uh, my house where we go out and like buy, we go out on a, snack run where we just buy a bunch of candy and then we hoard it for a while so then when we're really like I want chocolate now kind of days we have some but then we kind of try to pace ourselves so it, it lasts a while but then lately I've just been in a state like I am a human vacuum and everything is going in so that's fun anyway I, so I have had these before, but they're not in bar form, so technically I'm trying it for the first time. Although, I don't expect it to have the cute little quips and stuff on the inside of the wrapper, so, you know, can't win them all, I guess. But I do like that. Like, that's an interesting feature that uh, our little buddy Dove brings to the table that um, just kind of sets it around apart from the other, you know, rich people chocolate bars, like you have your uh, Lindor, you have your Garadelli, and then Dove's like, you know what, Dove, you don't have to go, you, you don't have to, like, place yourself so high, you don't have to pay, place yourself so low, you know, you just go on and be Dove, and we're, 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 we're here for that, you know, what am I even talking about, life goals. Let's eat chocolate. Oh, the little bits are smaller than I first anticipated. See, like I expected like just one chunk, like one big, I don't know, square, square, square. So this, this is kind of interesting. They're smaller than I thought, which also I think was a good kind of corporate scheme to, you know, make, make you think like they're giving you more because and plus, it's kind of rounded, you know. It's not the traditional, like, uh, Hershey's rectangular grid going on, you know. It, so it's, it's kind of different in that way. And I like weird shapes. Let's bring on, like, you know, we got our cube little icebreakers that I want to eat, but they just don't taste good. And then 
Or, you know, we, we got weird shaped candies and I'm like, we could get weirder. I want to see some pyramid shaped gum, okay? I don't care if I cut the roof of my mouth, it's going to be rounded anyway, right? Right. Oh, wait, no. Toblerone already did that. I don't think I've ever had Toblerone. Put that on the list. Oh my gosh. I haven't had Dove chocolate in like seven centuries. For those of you who are new here, I was old when the world was young. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a little bite there. I don't know if you can hear that, but we have uh, neighbors down the alley who are, who have these little kids, right? And, like I think that, yeah, so we got these uh, neighbors down the alley who have these, you know, backyard with the trampoline and stuff, and they got like two little kids or something. And they yell a lot, but then I'm just like, people might think, oh, you're mean to your kids, but then I'm like, flashbacks to when me and my siblings were children, we were little monsters because we had ADHD and our parents did not know what the hickety heck that was. So we would just be like children on the rampage. Children are terrible. Like we love them and they're great sometimes, but also they're terrifying, you know, because kids are, can be cruel as heck. But anyway, I love my little cousins. So anyway, now for the new one, the score bar. Like this, uh, the score bar's natural habitat is like toward the kind of endish of the aisle where, you know, it's one of those bars that kind of blends in with the background of um, the candy aisle. And it's like, it's always ones that you see in your peripheral vision, but never quite register in your brain. So it kind of gets overlooked, but I'm like, Holy crap, I, it, it, it's like being that one kid at school that, you know, no, it's like being in high school where you're just like, you go, you leave, and you're like a ghost, and nobody even notices what that you've come or gone, and then you're just like, sorry, I zone out. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the score bar. Let's try it. Oh, right. Sorry. Close-ups. I kind of opened it up already, but it says it has a delicious, delicious milk chocolate with a crisp butter toffee. Okay, so these were kind of in my uh, little uh, Jack Skellington bag for a little bit, so they, they might have got a little melted, but I mean, honestly, pfft, you know, who cares? Let's eat. Okay, there's, there's, that is hard. <laughs> like, I just, like, went to take a bite and, like, not expecting that hardness, but okay, okay. Oh! Okay. I'm getting some, like, it's a real crunch to it. Hmm. It's interesting. Like, it's a, you know, there's like soft toffee and hard toffee. This one was the hard, crunchy, like, am I eating candy or potato chip kind of feeling? I'm not sure how to feel about the score bar like it's good and like I don't think she has to change for anybody but it's just like I get why it's at the end of the candy aisle you know like no diss to the score bar you know it 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 presented what it had to offer and it delivered but personally like I don't think it was an over-the-top uh, kind of bombastic super fantastic uh flavor that i would necessarily be like oh look i'm hungry like i i'm kind of in the mood for some chocolate let's go get a scores bar you know right hmm but overall yeah it i'd say it was 
pretty good. Like it, it's not bad or anything. I, I think all three are good, mainly because the first two I knew I was going to like. But, you know, to each their own. That's an upfront lie, but I tried something new today. What did you do? Honestly, I have no idea. You could be going hiking or, you know, water skiing in the North Pole. Who knows? You know, you go out and live your life and I'll, I'll sit here eating candy bars. Yeah, yeah. Either way. Anyway, this is living proof that I actually leave the house. Could you imagine that? I couldn't. Anywho. Life's too short to not eat a ton of candy. Bye! Okay, I'm gonna be real and real with you. Like, I think it's salvageable. Like, I mean, that's dirty ass concrete. But you know that kind of space that the um, the wrapper creates just just enough to keep the food from making contact with the floor. Like, I think that saved it. So I'm uh, save that for later because I'm a mother truck and lobster. Why did I choose to make this video on this lopsided, well, not necessarily lopsided, but it's kind of like dipping me, like the, this, this swinging bench here. But you know, I like it and I'm, I'm, I'm trying something new today, whatever. Anyway, that was me trying, well, more, more like eating, just, just sitting in front of a camera and eating. Who am I, Shane Dawson? Life goals. Anywho, that was me. Eating a candy bar. Eating three candy bars. Well, eat, uh, eating two and trying one. You know, we, we're, we're, we're mixing it in there. We're, we're trying. Anywho. If you couldn't tell, I'm trying to work on a good outro. outro. But all I know is I'm really good at being a Disney princess. Because my sw Snow White impression over the top. Bye bye No, wait, is that my good one? Oh no. I mean, freaking Carmen Lopez was the one that taught me the way, you know, crowd, crowd, individual, individual. If you didn't know what that was from, that's from George Lopez. Gosh, I feel so old. Well, that's my life. All you have to do is be like lighthearted and sickly sweet. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not good at doing the outros yet, but I'm working on it. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Right, right. Also, if my brother sees this, shout out to being in Germany. I'm so proud of him. He's done he's done so good. He got for college, he got this in kick butt internship to um you know, be a gopher for the German parliament, and I'm just like, I'm so proud of him. He's doing so good. I'm not going to give him, give out his name or location, because, so help me, if anything happens to that boy while he's over there, I'm going to go taken, I'm going to go Liam Neeson taken on all of Europe, okay? Beware the smackdown. Have fun! So... I'm just gonna say bye. I you, I wasted money to just go ride with my sister to go buy uh, musical note shape stickers at Walmart. Hope you have a fantastic day. Get some sun if there if the sun shines where you are, somewhere over the horizon. Somewhere over the rainbow. No, I'm not going to break out in this song. I'm not going to make you sit through that torture. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastical, super magical, whatever kind of day you want it to be. And just do it well. Be happy.